Nashville, Tennessee, former Houston Oilers, Tennessee Titans tight end Frank Wycheck died Saturday. He was 52 years old. Wycheck's family said in a statement that he apparently fell inside his Chattanooga, Tennessee, home and hit his head Saturday morning. He was found unresponsive later in the day. Wycheck, a member of the Titans Ring of Honor, caught 482 passes for 4, 958 yards and 27 touchdowns for the Oilers' Titans franchise. His 482 receptions ranks third in franchise history. He was voted to the Pro Bowl three times, 1998, 1999 and 2000. Wycheck was one of the key players for the Oilers when they moved to Tennessee in 1997 and is most known for one of the most famous plays in NFL history, the Music City Miracle. The play took place on January 8, 2000, at the end of an AFC Wild Card playoff game between the Titans and Buffalo Bills at Adelphia Coliseum in Nashville. The Bills had taken a 16-15 lead on a field goal with 16 seconds remaining. On the ensuing kickoff return, Wycheck threw a lateral across the field to wide receiver, kick returner Kevin Dyson, who then ran 75 yards to score the winning touchdown in the Titans' 22-16 victory. Titans controlling owner Amy Adams Strunk said the organization was devastated to hear of Wycheck's death, a man loved by many whose memory will be cherished. She noted he was always open making key plays and, even part of a miracle. Frank's name was synonymous with Titans football, Strunk said in a statement. He was such a huge part of our team's success both on and off the field. He embraced this community and fan base immediately, and everyone loved him right back. Washington selected Wycheck in the sixth round of the 1993 draft out of Maryland. The Oilers claimed Wycheck off waivers after Washington released him in 1995. Over his 11-year career, Wycheck had 505 receptions for 5, 126 yards and 28 touchdowns. Beginning with the 2005 season, Wycheck assumed color commentary duties on the Titans radio network. The team announced before the 2017 preseason that Wycheck would step down from being their color commentator due to lingering head issues sustained in his football career. Wycheck is survived by two daughters, Deanna and Madison, and their spouses, and his grandchildren, Leo, Stevie and August. For his request, the family plans to work with experts for ongoing brain injury, TBI, and CTE research. The Associated Press contributed to this report.